everybody, Neo Kitchen here, coming to you with part 11 of our Legend of Zelda Let's Play. Uh, last episode was getting items, going diving, and getting through the river. Um, one thing I did do off camera was this treasure chest here. We're having trouble getting it because apparently these torches are getting lit. Um, but I managed to get them lit and we got to make some more piece out of it. So, um, let's see, uh, earlier we went, uh, dived in down there, got to Lake Hylia, and we got this bottle, uh, with a letter in it, so let's see what exactly is in it, kind of figure something out here. Letter from who? Okay, who's Ruto and who's Lord Jabu Jabu? Okay, well, apparently, Ruto is somebody we need to go meet, so we need to go talk to her father, which is this big dude. This really big dude. This way too big dude. Okay. Uh, looks like we've got a Z target. I'm talk to him first, probably. Okay. Well, let's see here. There we go. Okay. She then got hit by fish. Guardian God did eat your fish, kid. <sighs> okay. Dang, just go ahead and tell me what to do. Well, at least we get a free bottle out of it. Fat dude moving and he's grunting at the same time. <laughs> Thought this was the freakiest part of the game I had ever played. <laughs> Man, you really are huge. Okay. So. With that said and done, we need to go pick up one more thing just in case. Take the plunge. Okay, now, I'm right, they're right over here. Come on, there we go. That's what we need, it's a fish. You'll actually need this a little bit later, so let's switch back to something more useful. Dense fire. Okay. So now. Oh, yeah, in here. Um, just quick stop. Here's the shop for this area, which, you know, most of what was mostly it's. Uh, let's see. Mostly, yeah, Deku Nuts we don't need. Ah, uh, Red Potion. We could use it, but we got a fairy, so that's good. Yeah, why pay 200 rupees for a fish when you just catch one your own? Um, of course, I can't do anything with this yet. So, pretty much, there's really nothing of value here, so. Just get out of here. Really, what I really use is some magic containers. Seriously. I mean, magic energy sucks. Uh, I think it's from doing too much of this spin attack and using dense fire too much. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit more of something here. Okay. 
Well, since we got the fat guy to move, we'll go through here. Yeah, you are really fat. A little too fat. Way too fat. All right. And we have come to reach Zora's Fountain, which will be the location of our next escapade. So this is... this is some big dude. Okay. Uh, before we go deal with him, let's kind of look around the area and see what we find. I'm sure there's some new stuff around here. So, what we got over here? Okay. Yeah, that is one big dude. One really big dude. Well, it looks like there's something over here. Some kind of land or something. Guess not. Okay. So let's see. I'm not getting anywhere diving. And I can't swim any faster. This uh, suck. Alright. Well, there's a tree over here. And some stuff, so let's, let's, let's see what we can find. You try to blow up the big one and you blow up the wall. So, oh, great fairies found. Okay. What do we have here? Well, let's pull out our ocarina and get another one of the ugly fairies. Okay. What you gonna give us? What you gonna give us? Oof. Still just as rough looking. Yeah. Okay, great fairy of magic. Ooh, we get another spell. We will take it. And please do it quickly so you can go back into your water, because you're, you're kind of scaring us. Ferrari's Wind. Ooh, warp magic. Okay, this will actually be pretty interesting. Um, this is kind of like a like teleporter magic. Um, when you're like in a specific dungeon, you can like if you need to go to a certain point quickly, you can use that and kind of travel back and forth pretty fast. So that's just gonna be very, very, very useful. Um, but, uh, but of course, she did say the only speculation is it does have to have a dungeon map, so, um, this is gonna come in really handy in the future, um, so, that will be very good, and we get magic meter refilled, alright, okay, well now, we still got a bit of time, um, before I go, to the next dungeon. I actually want to go and um, kind of do a little bit of a side quest uh, or get a side quest started. Um, this will actually kind of help us in the future here. So, yeah, it's no problem at all because we can actually get back to Zora's Fountain fairly quickly. But by doing the side quest early, we 
you can f I can finish it. Um, I can actually finish it just before. What is it? Uh, just before. You know, just okay. I can't talk. If I do the quest now, I can finish it right after I, I beat the dungeon. So, um, just book it out. And plus, we also need to pick up some more magic beans. So. We'll go ahead and pick those up and plant some more of them. While we're going. Let's see. Let's, oh. Okay. We'll go down this way and go to Lake Hillia because there's actually something we need to get there. Here, time to learn a little bit of an Easter egg. Um, if you come over here to this patch, you will see a scarecrow apparently that you can talk to. And this actually is very interesting. If you come up with your ocarina, he'll talk to you and ask you to play a tune. And this can be anything you want. So just do something easy. And what that does now is you now created the Scarecrow song. Um, in certain areas, um, if you play that, you'll see here. now a hidden song. And in certain areas of the game, when you play that, um, the Scarecrow will actually uh, appear and kind of give you a hint, uh, which is not bad at all. So, let's go ahead and get out of here. deal with that owl again because he's just gonna he's just gonna talk too much and slow me down so do not feel like talking to him plus I do not like his whole twisty head thing it's just freaky alright so gotta get back to Hyrule Castle first and if anybody's ever seen those big helicopter looking thingies if you can tell me what those are, please do, because those things are just cool. I don't know what the heck those things are. I mean, it's just... Ugh. 
Wow, I've already got 12 heart pieces? Out of the... Hmm. I did not know that. Alright. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, if you're gonna be cheap and close up before I get there, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm really mad. You better not do it. You better not do it. You better not do it. Alright. Good, you didn't do it. Alright. So, go through here. Now, what we're going to head to is what's known as the Happy Mask Shop. Um, this is kind of a little mini side quest that pretty much, if you complete it, you get a nice payout of rupees in the end. Um, you talk to this dude, and basically, uh, as a kid, you can rent masks from him. Um, you basically basically take it to people who want to buy it and you know they'll they'll pay you and then you come back and pay him um, so oh good gravy say different stuff to you when you're wearing the mask. And sometimes they'll say, you know, they'll say different things like like that. Um, and then you have to take the mask to um, somebody in, in the game. Um, and what they'll do is, you know, they'll pay you for the mask and then you go back and get a new one. Um, with this first mask, this actually goes back to the guy that we talked to. Um, we had actually wanted, you know, we gave Zelda's letter to. Uh, that guard by, uh, the Death Mountain entrance. So, let's go and talk to him. And while we're there, we can actually go ahead and plant another set of seeds. Actually, let's also see if we can do something else. I believe there's a quest in the graveyard. Let's see if we can do it. First, we'll go ahead and drop the beans off. There's actually a heart piece you can get in this area if you're if you do it right um, and hopefully we can get it because we can always use an extra heart piece let's see is the gravekeeper dude out and running hmm doesn't look like he is we might have gotten here too late there we go we've got that planted because you see where these, like, s these soft spotches are? That is where you want him to dig, and if you do it right, he'll dig up a heart piece. But since he's not out, we may have to have him come back later. Let's check with him. Okay. So, he's not there. So. <sighs> that sucks for him. We will go ahead and take the Keaton mask over here and talk to this dude and see what we get. Okay. 
Come on. Here we go. Alright. Now, whenever you talk to him with the mask, make sure you have it and you put the mask on. And you talk to your person. And... He will talk about how he, he likes it, and you can sell it. Um, and sometimes, you, when you sell them, they will actually, you'll sell them for more money um, than, you know, like that. Um, you know, you'll earn a little bit of a profit sometimes, and or sometimes you'll sell it, and you will have to pay more. Navi, what is it? No, duh. We know she's in there, Navi. We're doing something else, and then we'll go back and get the fish girl. Okay. So just hold your fairy horses, and we'll be fine. So, I'll we'll head back out. We'll get a another mask. He's now got a second mask in his shop. So we pay him back, and we'll now go get another mask. Yes, we do. Okay, and this is a skull mask. Uh, with this one, uh, we can now go trade that one in. Remember back in one of the earlier videos, I think I talked to, to somebody who didn't really like the way their face looked. So, with this one, we're going to head back to the Lost Woods. Um, and this one also kind of has like a little bit of a side hint where if you never played the game, but you read the uh, Ocarina of Time manga, um, there was kind of a bonus side story to it. And it kind of gave you the answer for this mask as well. Um, but of course, that doesn't really make sense to a lot of people. It's like, why would you read the manga and you've never played the game? Um, so, yeah. Uh, but that's how the world is. There's a lot of things that are just plain kind of music. So. Okay. Come on, speed up. Ugh, if only there was a faster way to flip and get back from back to Hyrule Castle. It makes things so much easier. Okay. So, we'll head back here. And we got a little lost in the woods. Right, it was the boss. It was the kid that you talked to when you went. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. It was this kid who was playing the flute. Okay. We talked to him the first time. He talks about his face. You put the mask on. Talk to him. He gets 
that's all happy. So, we'll give it to him. And unfortunately, you know, he kind of cheated us out of money. Which stunk. So, since that cheapskate cheated us, uh, time to head back. And we can get a third mask this time. go the same distance. So, but, I mean, hey, it, I mean, it looks like it's working now, so, I'll go with it. I mean, the only thing you have to worry about is the fact you constantly hear him yelling, yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. We now have, um, Okay, so since we're back, we will go talk to the mask dude, who obviously doesn't care that you're paying out of pocket. Okay, so you talk to him again. Yep, we sold the mask. And we lost 10 rupees. Oh well. But, if you notice now, he now has a third mask for 30 rupees. So now we can go and turn this one in. Alright. Now we'll go with this one. Uh, the spooky mask is, other than the fact that it looks really creepy. Um, with this one, you can go back to Kakariko, and who is it that would most likely like a mask like that? Um, if you notice, the kid running in the graveyard constantly had something talking about being a gravekeeper or whatever, so, um, that's one thing we can do. Oh, Ooh, I'm gonna do it right. There we go. Yeah, if we did it right, we may be able to run into the gravekeeper to get, um, what is it? We may be able to run into the gravekeeper and then get him to do the grave tour. Since we got rupees, we can try to see if we can get him to dig up some stuff. If not, then we'll just hit the Ocarina and go back to the daytime. Okay, come on. Yep, we got him. Alright, buddy boy. Try to make us some... Make us proud here, okay. There's a spot right there, so we can get him to talk. Yes, we do. Oh, blue ruby. Okay. So, let's see. There's a spot right here. <laughs> Come on, old guy. Come on, old guy. You're burning video. You're burning a lot of video. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do we need to get you a cane? Come on. Come on. That's right. Do we need to get you a cane? No. 
Alright. Yes. <sighs> Crap. Nothing. Oh, wait. Okay, we'll try it again. I don't know if he dicked on the dirt. There we go. Blue ruby. Okay. So, apparently we've got to get him on the dirt to dig. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, no. A little bit more. A little bit more. There you go. Yes. I want you to dig. There we go. That's what we want. Since we're done there, let's go ahead and make it daytime. Alright. Now, with this guy, just put the mask on, talk to this creepy kid. He flips out over being happy on the gravekeeper. Yes, we will. And he gave us the full price of the rupees. Okay. Well, that's good. So, we can go ahead and probably do one more thing here before we finish stuff off. And let's see here. We'll go ahead and return. We'll return that. We'll return his money. And that will probably be it for this video. So, now we'll see what we get out of it. <laughs> chicken. Rule of thumb, never slice chickens because they can be really, really evil. Uh, a, a lot of people probably know that from playing, I, I don't know what, I think it was Link's Awakening on the Game Boy, you, if you went and attacked chickens, they got pissed off at you and sent a swarm of chickens to kill you. Yeah, death by chickens, not good. Not good at all. So, let's see. Oh, I've already gotten 15 heart pieces. That means there's one more heart, I think there's one more heart piece I haven't gotten so far. Hmm. Huh. I'm probably gonna go look around and see where it is. Okay. Which way am I going? Alright. Go in here and turn in the money, and you'll notice he's got one more mask. Okay. We can get we can get the bunny hood. Um, anybody that's played Super Smash Brothers, you guys have known that this is an item that basically makes you run super fast and everything. Um, unfortunately, in this one, it doesn't do that. It just is there for looks, apparently. Yeah, you don't run any faster or anything like that. So, um, But for now, we will go ahead and conclude things. Uh, Go ahead and save it here, and in the next video, I think what we'll go ahead and do is go ahead and take, I think what we'll go ahead and do is head on to take on and get, um, go ahead and get through the dungeon, and we'll see here, maybe there's, I don't think there's anything else, so, let's see, yep. I think we're good, pretty much. Um, what we'll do is go ahead and conclude things here, and we will see you next time, guys. I want to say thank you for watching, and hope you come back for the next video. Neo Kenshin, signing off. Take care, guys.